Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. We are back talking about the League of Legends mini offseason between spring and summer once again. And today we honestly have a pretty crazy and pretty potentially spicy topic to talk about. Now, of course, everything in the offseason regarding rumors and speculation and all this stuff should be taken with a grain of salt. In this video, we are not going to be talking about anything that is officially done. We're going to be talking about possibilities, things that could maybe happen, things that are potentially in the works, uh, and talking about, you know, why these things maybe make sense, how they could maybe happen, and, and what it would look like if they did happen. But understand that there is for multiple different reasons and in multiple different ways, a very, very real possibility that TSM, oh, I didn't mean to hit my mic, but that TSM and Spica uh, could potentially be parting ways. And that is what we're going to be talking about in this video today. So definitely drop a like uh, if you guys do enjoy this one. I think it's going to be a really fun one. Hopefully you guys will uh, do that. It helps me out a ton. Subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content and consider checking out the first link in the description below for the Patreon. We just recently started the Patreon back up. Uh, the Patreon is going to be used for giving you access to videos early. I'm recording this video right now. It'll probably come out, honestly, like two or three days in the future. So if you want to get these videos as soon as I record them and put them on YouTube so you don't have to wait, check out the Patreon. It's an awesome way to help support me, my content, and my channel. With that being said, let's get right into this. So, Spica and TSM, they're in a very, very weird spot, and they've been in a really, really weird spot dating back to last offseason. Spica, um, you know, was coming into this year with just a single year left on his contract. Him and TSM had not gotten an extension done, and obviously, TSM has offered Spica an extension. There's just no way they haven't. Last offseason, probably during the split, probably they, you know, were maybe even offering him extensions recently. I don't know. Obviously, this whole spring split and Spica not being as good and the whole team kind of sucking maybe changed some things. But for sure in the offseason, they offered Spica, you know, I would go as far as to say multiple different contract extensions. And Spica didn't accept those for, you know, who knows why. There's a lot of different reasons. Maybe he was just waiting to see. Maybe he thought he could get more money. Maybe he wanted to see how this roster was. Maybe he's thinking about leaving. Maybe he wants to go to another team. We know he's potentially talking talked about going to the LPL before. Um, so TSM and Spica are in a weird spot. Uh, TSM now has just one single split left on Spica's contract. And if they don't do anything with him, he could leave this offseason and TSM could lose their MVP for free. You know, like they're not going to be able to sell him off and get any money, any players, any assets, anything if his contract expires and then he just leaves. Um, and yeah, I mean, this, this offseason, they could have got sky high value for him. Who knows uh, what teams would have traded or given away or whatever for Spica. But I totally understand why they, um, you know, were maybe going to work things out. But since this whole roster was supposed to be a development, it was supposed to be a three year plan or whatever. Speaker didn't necessarily fit into that three-year plan if he wasn't really willing to re-sign. And this is something that, like, Carlos and G2 has talked about before as well, that, like, hey, we tell everyone, if you're going to play for us, you're going to be with our team. You're going to be with us for the long run, and you're going to sign an extension. That's why you see all of G2's players are signed until, like, 2023, 2024. And Carlos and G2 say, hey, if you don't want to re-sign with us, then we're going to sell you off. We're going to replace you so that they don't ever have great players losing for free. Now, obviously, TSM doesn't subscribe to that same philosophy and hey maybe they're about to find out the negative sides of that but anyway that's at least why tsm could maybe potentially be looking to go other ways in the jungle maybe they're looking to sell speak off maybe speak has said hey i'm not gonna resign with you guys or maybe tsm just saw the split speak ahead and they're like hey Maybe we don't even want him. Maybe they're going to try some other junglers. And I know that sounds crazy. You know, right now he's still the defending MVP. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But when you factor in this, this is something we talked about in the Maple video before. You know, maybe Maple's coming to TSM or whatever. Do and be said on Billy Billy uh, during his stream or whatever. He said Maple has terminated his contract, you know, with his LPL team. And he said he and that person, that person he is talking about is Bo. Uh, this is... I think he's still with FPX right now, but uh, maybe the former FPX Academy jungler, whatever, um, you know, they're talking about them coming to North America together. Now, that could mean Bo and Maple coming together as a package deal to a team, or it could just mean the fact that they're both coming to North America. But either way, both of them coming to TSM makes a ton of sense. Now, again, you wouldn't replace Spica for like just anybody or, or a super development or random guy or whatever, but um, I'm not sure exactly how 
old Bo is actually. I want to say he's like 19 years old. Um, I don't, I don't, see if I can pull up his age real quick. Um, but he's young. He's like a prospect. Yes, Bo is 19 years old. Um, so, you know, this guy would fit into a longer tier plan, especially if you could get him to sign a deal. And this guy is insane. This guy is cracked. And if this guy's coming to North America, um, you know, it's probably not going to be to like CLG. It's probably not going to be to like Immortals. Now, he had been rumored to Dignitas in the past, um, but obviously they have River now. You know, they're not going to be going for Bo. Bo's probably not going to be going for them. But what is interesting, and you know, like why TSM? Where's this even coming from? How would this make sense? Obviously, uh, Bo and TSM have some, and we'll, we'll get to this in a second as well. Bo and TSM have some ties Dating back to this offseason, when Spica was stuck in North America, he couldn't go with the team to China and to Korea to, you know, boot camp and everything, getting ready for the year. The team played with Bo. And we know this because these scrims leaked. This Nidalee here, this Nidalee that goes 12-5 and five in this scrim, I don't know what team this is against. You know, they were scrimming a bunch of Chinese and Korean, like, academy teams and all these different teams and stuff. But they were playing with Bo in the jungle. Bo goes 12-5 and five on the Nidalee here. Um, he pops off. He is a beast. But he was scrimming with TSM over in China or Korea or wherever they were. I'm not exactly sure. Here's another game of them scrimming together. Seven, six, nine, eight. This is Bo. This is Bo playing Talia Jungle for Kaiduo playing Pantheon mid lane. Bo and TSM have a relationship. They have a history. So if Bo is coming to North America, again, I don't think he would be coming to a bad team. I don't think he'd be coming to a bad organization because this guy is really, really good. Now, uh, you might be wondering, okay, if he's so good, yeah, why is he not playing? What's going on? Well, yeah, here is the thing. Hey, he had a match fixing scandal last year, February of 2021. Um, you know, this came out uh, a Weibo post from FPX. Recently, we have been uh, concerned about an online opinion uh, that Bo was involved in match fixing. Bo has come forward to report to the team that he was coerced into participation in inappropriate competitive behavior during the 2020 LDL tournament. So he got in some trouble for some match fixing in 2020. He just got in trouble for this last year. And that has been a big black eye for him really throughout all the competitive League of Legends scene. You know, if we look at Bo right now, he was on E-Star Young. Uh, Fun Plus Phoenix bought him out apparently for a lot of money because this guy was a hot, hot hot prospect. This guy is a monster in solo queue and in competitive. Again, 19 years old and a beast. Like when I think of this guy, I'm trying to, you know, make a good comparison for you guys. I think he's on the level of like a berserker, like that level of prospect. So if you are TSM and you have Spica, who's coming off, not a great split with just a single uh, split left on his contract and you haven't been able to sign it or you, you haven't been able to sign him long term and there's a guy like Bo out there who might be willing to sign a two or three year deal who's 19 years old who's probably better than Spica anyway you'd have to consider that right you would have to take that chance yes he does have some match fishing yes he has scandals whatever but TSM has been known to be an organization for second chances. Look at all the drama, controversy, everything that they just went through this past split. Look at what they've gone through the last couple years. They can't be pointing too many fingers. Um, so I think this makes a ton of sense. And again, when you're looking at the other teams, you know, 100 Thieves has Closer. TL has Santorin. Uh, Cloud9 has Blabber. Uh, you know, EG has Inspired. Like, the top four teams, they don't need a jungle. Like, TSM is that next team, unless you're going to go to a FlyQuest or a Dignitas or something like that, which I don't think he's going to do. So, if B is correct... And Bo is coming to North America. I think Bo and Maple absolutely could both end up on TSM. And you know, Kobe, he said, hey, significant changes are coming to TSM. Getting rid of Spica would be an absolutely significant change. Now, this would leave TSM in a spot where obviously they would have three imports with Shenny, Bo, and Maple. So they would have to rock a new support. I don't know who exactly that would be. Obviously, Ayla comes to mind as an idea for me. Um, I know there is plenty of other academy supports out there. I know a guy like Smoothie was talking about getting signed. I know Zazel is out there. Um, I, you know, there, there is different options. It, it wouldn't make a ton of sense, but... Um, you know, there there is a possibility where they could be moving on from Shenny, moving on from Spica, going with the team of Maple and Bo, and all of a sudden, that, having Maple and Bo as your two imports, that's actually a TSM team to get excited about, both now and in the future. Those two are, are pretty good players. I would rather have Maple and, and Bo than Kaiduo and Shenny, or Takeover and Shenny, or whatever. Um, now, I, I think Shenny was actually pretty good towards the end of the year, and I, you know, wouldn't, I would like to keep him if you can, but again, you can only have so many imports, uh, and I think Bo is just, you know, the cream of the crop when it comes to, like, young uh, prospects right now, and this would be very, very exciting if TSM could get their hands on him. So, again, Doon B says Bo is coming to North America. 
I think TSM's the only team that makes sense, which would mean moving on from Spica, which maybe Spica wanted to move on, to, on from TSM in the coming offseason anyway. But no matter what, if this all happens, this is going to be crazy. This is going to be insane. And again, I'm not saying it's going to happen. Take everything with a grain of salt. This is all rumors. This is all speculation. But it's possible. That's pretty much it for this video today. Definitely drop a like if you guys did enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys would think about this. Uh, do you think TSM getting rid of Spica to get Bo would make sense? you think it'd be a good move, bad mood? I don't know. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe, stay up to date on all my latest content. Hopefully catch you guys in the next one. But until then...